All right, so here's the Damascus we Damascus stand my we made a while back. Um, I've got a preform cut for the tip because I don't really want to do too much forging on this. Um, I'm gonna try and do kind of a blacksmith style knife. I'm gonna neck it down, draw it a long kind of rat tail tang, and loop that around. So I'm curious to see how this will turn out. Let's light the forge. All right, we got the forge lit. So we're gonna take this and gonna kind of round that out a little bit and then make a set down here and then draw out that tang. So in the end, we're gonna hopefully go for something straight back, maybe a little bit of a drop point. That, with their bevels there. Something simple. Let's see if I can pull that out of there and see how that looks. I want to do as little forging as possible, and I don't think I'm going to forge bevels because this is already distorted. This much of the billet is centered, but this part, in this part, the core gets kind of really pushed off to the side. So I want to distort this as little as possible and hopefully not, hopefully not push it any farther off center. And if you don't remember, this is. Um, 60 layers on either side with a thick layer of 80 CRV2 in the center for a core. And this was just saw blade steel. Really, I have no idea what sort of contrast we're gonna get. That's one of the downsides of working with three-claim steel. If I'd used um, known like 1084 and 15 and 20, I would be able to assure that I'm gonna get a good pattern, but we'll see. All right, let's throw this in the fire and get started. We're gonna come over the edge of the anvil right there, make a set down, and then draw out that material there.
that. I got it all all shaped. It's all straight. Um, yeah, it's straight. It's forged. Got my stamp in there. Now I'm just gonna go do three or four normalizing cycles um, before we start grinding. Now I just heat the oil with the railroad spike. And then I quench the knife. Okay, I temper this two times in the oven um, at 375 degrees. So now I'm going to take that and dip that in the ferric chloride. On this side I can see pretty well where the Damascus stops and the ADC or V2 starts. But on this side I can't quite tell and it's a little off centered. So I'm going to go dip it in the acid and find out how centered I am. So I don't know if you can tell but there's that line there where the Damascus goes across. And here it's more scattered so I'm going to keep grinding on this side and then hopefully I can get that core centered. So if you can see, we've got kind of a lot of pattern distortion on this side, but we've got the edge clear. And then here, it's a little less wavy, but on both sides, we've got edge, we've got the ADCRV2. It's just a little more exciting on this side. So that's all right. I'll just keep grinding. I'll grind it up through the grits. Alright, I took this up to an A30 Trizact belt, so that's about an 800 grit. Um, so now I'm going to hand sand starting off with 500 grit and going up to 1000 before we start etching. Alright, so I cleaned this off with Windex and then I went in and uh, washed it with soap and water. Um, it's just drying right now, and then we're going to take this, put it in the ferric chloride to etch. Um, I'm probably going to do a, probably going to leave it for 15 minutes, see how that looks, and probably going to do a few more cycles and then end with the coffee etch. Going to do a quick etch, ooh, that might not be long enough. Because I want to etch the whole thing. Ah, about three hours. <laughs> All right, so this has been through one etch. Um, I pulled it out of the etch and then took it over and sprayed it down with Windex to neutralize the, the acid. And then I took it in and washed it off with soap and water again. So this is just drying and then it's ready to go back in for a second etch. I'll leave that in there maybe 30 minutes and pull it out and do the same thing, see if it needs another etch. And then I'll probably end up doing a coffee etch to make the, the darks darker and the just the contrast really pop. After the ferric chloride etch, I etch the knife again in instant coffee to really bring out the darks and the steel and to make it more contrasting. Okay, 
here we are. It's all done. Um, 80 Cedar V2 core, 60 layer Damascus on each side. More or less a ladder pattern. Blacksmith style handle with twists. Um, yeah, that, that went pretty well. Um, we're nice and sharp. This is available. If you're interested, send me a message on Instagram or also my email is down in the description. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Yeah, I didn't make a sheath for this, but if you want it, and if you want a sheath, I can make a sheath for it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.